Hi, I'm Umaya, also known as the Maya Rani, a term of endearment which my husband actually coined um, to sound like Maharani, which is the Hindi word for queen. This is my first YouTube video, so welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a list of supplements that I take to achieve perfect skin and halt adult acne in its tracks. In just a couple of months, um, I'll be 39 years old. And would you believe that up until recently, I've suffered terribly with adult acne? Um, 2019 and 2020, while we were in lockdown, were actually two of the worst years uh, when my skin went completely bonkers. I had a peaches and, and cream complexion throughout my teens. And then just after my 21st birthday, one day I woke up to a hot pink zit right here. And that was the start of pizza face months. At that time, I was completely naive to the effect of nutrition on skin. And I was even more ignorant to the root cause of skin issues, which almost always is directly related to hormonal health and imbalances. Because I didn't know better, I allowed a gynae to prescribe a birth control pill and um, it did resolve my acne, and it, but it simply did this by masking the problem um, with the root cause and in the process causing a whole bunch of other issues um, I, I knew that a pill was not a long-term solution. And whenever I tried to leave the pill, my acne would return with a vengeance. So over the years, I've been my own guinea pig, experimenting with dietary changes to find out which foods trigger my acne by throwing hormones off balance and how or why certain foods have that effect. And also what nutrients and toxins in my food are having positive or negative effects. In 2019, we were on holiday in Turkey and I was eating a lot more cheese, yogurt and other forms of dairy because that's just the kind of food the Turkish eat. Um, I was also drinking soya lattes at breakfast in the hotel and it was during this trip that my skin again, once again, went completely AWOL. I developed cystic acne, so um, bumps under the skin filled with pus. It, they were blind, so in other words, not causing a head. And these were so inflamed that if I tried to do extractions myself, I would most certainly leave behind scabs and scars. Going into 2020, I then eliminated all dairy, including cheese, butter, and even masala chai, which is my weakness, if you don't know, that is Indian spiced tea that's cooked on the stove. It's really aromatic and very comforting, but I had to give that up and instead created um, a vegan version using almond milk and soya milk and oat milk. So I did consume a lot of coconut based products to replace dairy in my diet, but I was still consuming soya milk and peanuts now and then and I made my move towards veganism. It was during this trial with veganism that despite going dairy-free, my skin actually got 10 times worse, and I had developed breakouts on my forehead, my cheeks and chin, along the jawline, in the hairline, and around the ears. Um, now, I was completely baffled by this because I, was th I thought that I was actually being healthier, so I did further research and now I'm not a doctor, but I do have a diploma in nutritional therapy. And I knew that I definitely did not want to see a doctor because all they would do, again, is prescribe a contraceptive pill or put me on a product like Roaccutane, which is really, really harsh. It dries you out. Um, it dries out your mucous membranes and it's, it's not pleasant. Um, and I knew that the root to all my issues, the root cause was diet related. That's when I discovered Dr. Eric Berg on YouTube. I highly recommend watching his videos. He's super, um, he's really great. He's, he's, his, content, his content is um, informative and educational and is the kind of stuff that other doctors really don't tell you. I don't think they understand much of it themselves. 
Uh, I also discovered Alisa Vitti. She's the founder or creator of the Flow app, which is an app that um, I use to track my menstrual cycle so I can understand what my hormones are doing at different, part, at different times of the month. Um, by following Dr. Berg's advice and even the advice in the emails from the Flow app, I learned a lot. I, saw, I found it very beneficial. And what I learned went against what I had, had learned as a nutritional therapist. So everything I knew actually went completely out the window. Now, as I'm sitting here, you can see that my skin is looking pretty great. In fact, this week, at least, I've had three or four people compliment me on how smooth and glowing my skin is. And I really am confident enough to leave my house without wearing any foundation at all. And, and that's a huge achievement for me because I don't have the time every morning to plaster my face with foundation, and nor do I care to spend tons of money on expensive makeup, which ends up clogging your pores even further. So it, it's just a vicious cycle and natural is best. Based on Dr. Berg's advice and the very useful subscription emails from the Flow app, I quickly realized that my, my skin issues can be put down to two hormonal to two hormonal imbalances. One, estrogen dominance, and two, high testosterone. So I will do a follow-up video where I go into the root causes, but for now, all you need to know is that estrogen dominance happens when your liver is having trouble detoxifying free estrogen circulating in the body. High testosterone, on the other hand, is as, is as a result of PCOS, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is the ovaries reaction to high insulin. Now, when I was not consuming sufficient protein um, on the vegan diet, I was instead eating way too many carbs. And I was doing this to satisfy my hunger, to feel full. But as you may know, carbs break down into sugars in the body. And so to metabolize these sugars, the pancreas has to produce more insulin, which is also a hormone. So after a while, I noticed that I started losing hair over here, so a kind of male pattern balding, and I knew something was wrong. So I abandoned the vegan diet, um, but I did stick to no dairy, although I must admit I do eat butter because butter is a saturated fat that's very high in vitamins A, D, E, and K, and uh, it, it also plays a role in the structural integrity of the skin cells. I, at the moment, for breakfast or brunch, I consume eggs. I usually prep that with onions, tomatoes, chili, and mushrooms. And eggs are great because they're very nutritious, they're high in protein, so about six grams per egg. And also, when I say highly nutritious, I mean you get all your essential vitamins and minerals in eggs. So one or two eggs a day. Um, in the morning, and that um, feeds your body. Now, I don't eat this with any starchy carbs, zero, just, just the highly nutritious free-range eggs and veggies. Um, occasionally, if I'm feeling a little naughty, then I will have a potato chip or two. Um, now, what really helps is that every single night I swallow a pharmacy, uh, okay, that doesn't sound right. I actually, let's call it a, a wellness shop because I'm not taking medicines. I'm actually taking supplements. So starting with a good multivitamin, um, I, I take a multivitamin for women and this, uh, then I also take a vitamin B complex and a 12 strain probiotic. And the one I take is from a brand called Relief. So those are the three things that every woman should be taking without fail. Um, additional to that, number one on my list would be vitamin C. So I take the vital range and I actually take chewables because I have a bit of a phobia for swallowing very large hard pills. The next thing, um, okay, so vitamin C, let's first talk about that. Vitamin C is anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant, which is essential for many things, including boosting your immunity, bone health. Um, on here, it even says it helps with um, for healthy gums, bones, and teeth. 
Um, vitamin C is, it helps to prevent oxidative stress and even helps with collagen production. So in order to have nice plump skin that holds moisture, you want to take vitamin C. Uh, the next thing on the list is zinc. I take a brand called Zinplex and particularly the one with the orange lid because this is zinc picolinate, particularly for problematic skin issues, including eczema, pimples, and acne. Um, now, zinc is anti-inflammatory. It also acts as an antioxidant, and it helps to heal the skin. It protects your skin from UV damage, and very important is that it nourishes the ovarian follicles. Um, it also helps to regulate insulin, which, as I mentioned earlier, is um, when, you, when you spike your insulin, then that is what triggers PCOS, and then that's what triggers high testosterone. Uh, next on the list, omega-3 salmon oil. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So salmon oil, again, is also anti-inflammatory. It helps wounds to heal, um, thus easing the severity of acne lesions, and it helps to prevent dry, flaky skin. The important thing here to note is that there's a very delicate one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3 and omega-6, which must be maintained to avoid general systemic inflammation in the body. Most of us get way too much omega-6 from seed oils like canola, soya, sunflower, and that's because if you also eat bread, you know, th those things, your carbohydrates are often made from seeds. Um, so supplementing with fish oil is vital, especially if you don't consume oily fish about two or three times a week. Next on my list, number four, is cod liver oil. I take this in capsule form as well because there's no fishy aftertaste. Um, cod liver oil is very high in vitamins A and D, which is excellent for the liver. It is also a fish oil, but please note that it, cannot, it does not supply enough of omega-3 fatty acid, which is why we take salmon oil. Um, cod liver oil helps to fight inflammation, prevent cystic acne, it helps to reduce acne scarring, it helps prevent age-related bone loss because vitamin D in the cod liver oil aids calcium absorption. Um, it improves the overall texture of your skin, reducing fine lines and aiding moisturization. Here it's important to note that if you suffer from PCOS, cod liver oil can help to lower testosterone levels regulate your menstrual cycle, and ease any PMS symptoms. Number five on the list is vitamin D3. Now, we already know that the skin makes vitamin D when it's exposed to the sun, but it's all very confusing because, you know, you'll be told, don't go in the sun, or go in the sun, you need vitamin D. So it's all about the time that you go in the sun and the duration that you spend in the sun. So anytime before 10 in the morning and after three or four in the afternoon when the sun's rays are not that harsh, um, and you'll need about 20 minutes. If you don't get enough sun, sun exposure, then vitamin D is essential to take it in a pole form. Um, it's essential for healthy bones because it aids calcium absorption, keeping even the, the bones in your face healthy. And um, as mentioned when we spoke about when I spoke about cod liver oil, vitamin D helps to balance hormones, um, easing PCOS and PMS. Next, I take vitamin K2. Now, vitamin K2 is a wonderful anti-aging supplement to add to your list because it aids the even absorption of calcium throughout the body. So as we get older, our bones atrophy, they sort of degenerate, and you'll notice that um, eye sockets get larger, and that's why eyes can look sunken, and cheekbones, and the angles of the jawbone, all of these change, which is what makes you look old. So um, for youthful appearance, definitely add K2. Number seven on the list is vitamin E. This is a powerful antioxidant which protects the skin from aging, from sun damage, and it prevents general cell cellular damage throughout the body by reducing oxidative stress. 
It also moisturizes and soothes dry skin. So what I do once a week is I actually take a capsule. Like you'll notice that a lot of skin products do contain vitamin E. But as a nice little treatment once a week, I'll take a capsule and just um, use the contents of the capsule directly on my skin. Um, next, we have DIM. So the DIM is, it stands for, and I'll try to say this, methane or methane or it, it's a long name, which I'm not really sure how to pronounce. But um, this is an extract from green cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. DIM supports healthy hormones or healthy metabolization of hormones and the liver's ability to detox free circulating hormones. Um, so DIM is very, very helpful if you have estrogen overload, which can come from food and even the environment through detergents and other chemicals. Number nine on the list is magnesium. Um, magnesium, it protects skin from external damage. It regulates cellular repair. It lowers cortisol levels induced by stress. And in turn, that makes it easier for the body to balance your sex hormones. Um, we're almost done. <laughs> I told you it was a lot, a mouthful. Um, pantothenic acid. So pantothenic acid is also known as vitamin B5. It soothes and repairs the skin and has moisturizing, hydrating properties. Now, the cool thing about vitamin B5 is that it increases, or oh, it has a, an enzyme, coenzyme A, which increases the breakdown of excess sebum or oil that's produced by the sebaceous glands in the skin. And that's what reduces the clogging of pores. So you get less acne breakout. So vitamin B5, basically, it improves the quality of the sebum so that it doesn't clog your pores. Uh, second to last, nettle leaf extract. This is a highly, highly nutritious herb that has been used since ancient times to lower inflammation in the body. Um, it contains enzymes like uh, th that actually mimic insulin, um, thus aiding blood sugar control. It aids liver health, so the liver can effectively do its job, and that is getting rid of excess free circulating hormones and other toxins. And last on the list is Agnes Castus. I honestly cannot do without Agnes Castus because um, it's a herb that is proven to help all female-related issues. Uh, it goes by the names Chasteberry and Vitex. So if you can't find it, if you can't find Agnes Castus, ask for Chasteberry or Vitex. And now this herb works by mimicking progesterone in the body. Um, so in a nutshell, as I said, it reduces PMS and symptoms, regulates your cycle, and so it really helps for all female-related issues. So that's a, a mouthful. And if you have the willpower and the discipline to incorporate all these supplements into your diet, I promise you within a few weeks, in under a month, you should see a major, major difference in the condition of your skin. Thank you for listening and do subscribe to my channel if you would be interested in more content like this.